I just finished top 200 in the entire world with 31 wins in the most recent global tournament. Hey guys, that's right here and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. That's right, I actually managed to get to 31 wins in the most recent global tournament using an Expo Mortar deck. This deck actually does surprisingly well to counter some of the most popular decks you'll see in this current meta. So today I'm going to showcase a couple matches that got me to the 31 wins. But before we get into the video, if you could please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Also, use code LEGENDARAY in the shop. You get the dealio. Let's get right into some matches. Ice Wizard and Barbarian. Probably Graveyard. That's my best guess. Oh, wait. He's a Mega Minion. Uh, I don't think Mega Minion's in the, in the classic Splashyard deck, but okay. Expo like so. If he does have a Golem, it's going to be really hard to play it directly. Okay. So, wait, what? You got a bowler? Uh, okay, well, first off, that's not a good sign. Um, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this, uh, and then I'm actually just gonna NATO the thing like that. Oh no, I screwed up the key activation. Oh no, oh no, okay. Well, thank goodness he played Eight Elixir at the bridge because uh, <laughs> I'm able to easily counter that with a mortar. See, if I was running a classic Expo deck, what? Okay, well, I guess there's Tesla, but I mean, Either way, you have a second defensive building that makes uh, that just makes this deck work. Expo on zero, Expo on zero, there we go. He's probably back to bowler, but the question is whether he'll have elixir for it, and he does not. Okay, you know what? That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Mortar coming down here as soon as the bowler dies, and uh, oh, and it gets a lock onto the tower. Look at this, the opponent literally does not know how to deal with this, man. He, he's got no idea what to do. Okay, well, playing an Expo against an E-Giant is not an ideal defense, let's be honest. Uh, as soon as the E-Giant gets in range, oh, or it's just uh, not going to, um, I guess, oh, look, we got NATO, oh, we got NATO. Uh, um, so there we go, let's get the Mortar down here. Uh, on offense, this is actually not a very good cycle to be in, um, because I don't really want to, uh, I don't really want to be playing my mortars on offense since the expo is generally what I want to be using. Yeah, I think we're doing alright. I think we're doing alright. Let's go in with a defensive expo. Of course, I just gave him the best lightning value in the world. What am I doing? I just got a breakthrough somehow, man. Alright, Electro Giant in the back. Let's go in with a mortar here. Hopefully, this will be enough to get me the, the lock that I need here. Um, but look at this. He <laughs> just got so much stuff in cycle, man. Oh my god, I just need to defend this push push coming in here uh let's see let's just use the roll delivery the roll delivery deals a ton of damage here and the mortar gets a hit onto the tower as well look at that expo is about to be coming down here and uh oh boy he's got oh let's go with the mortar left and you know what i'm feeling so confident we're going in with both the expo and the mortar on offense here uh, and look at this, man. Look at this. We got so much stuff going in on offense. Holy crap. Mortar locks on. Let's go in with another expo. There's no way you're stopping this, right? There's just no way. Let's nato that out of range. And that's a GG well played. Oh, gosh. Okay, so the opponent here, of course, he's rocking an E-Wiz here. Um, every time I face an Inferno Dragon, you just gotta be up against an E-Wiz, you know? Uh, so let's go ahead and hopefully get a King activation here. Oh, that's not good. Ah, uh, the Ewe just makes this matchup so much more difficult here. Uh, I'm just gonna go in here with a bowler. Uh, bomber might actually get a hit, which is kind of sad. Uh, oh god, what am I doing? I'm actually throwing this match, bro. As we approach double elixir time, things are heating up here. We got a bit of a graveyard matchup here on our hands. Let's go ahead and just defend the graveyard. We actually got pretty lucky there with the skeleton placements. This, I don't like this. Graveyard is never a fun matchup, dude. It's never a fun matchup. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh god, uh, that's not good. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's really bad. What did I just do? What did I just do? Uh, okay, um, oh my god, what is this, dude? What in the world is this? Okay, let's go on with the expo. We gotta pull our trump card out here. Uh, and then let's go in with the royal ghost. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, alright, inferno dragon down, I guess. Uh, we gotta take this out of the way. Alright, expo should, okay, expo doesn't lock on. Uh, alright, we gotta activate king here. Uh, okay, there we go, please work, dude. Oh, but we're taking so much damage already. All right, we just gotta we gotta go in with the expo here. Uh, Mortar does lock on, gets some damage, so I'll take it. Uh, let's see here, Dark Prince and Royal Delivery. 
we go. Takes care of the graveyard. And we got some good double lane pressure, uh, which is which is nice. And okay, let's go ahead and actually NATO this stuff here. Uh, we just gotta get the expo locked on. We gotta get the expo locked on, and it does. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Triple elixir. We are. We gotta hold here. We just gotta hold. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and fireball this. All right. Uh, let's see here. Bowler comes down. Thirty-five seconds left. Things are getting really close now. Um. Okay, we'll fireball this. We will fireball this. Okay, expo, expo locks on the tower. Okay, we need to make sure the Ewis does not hit the expo. No, the the Ewis hit the expo, dude. What is this? Oh come on, please. Oh, I got 17 seconds, dude. There's 17 seconds left in this match, and uh, uh, 10 seconds. Let's go ahead. We're gonna NATO everything inside the blind range. Mortar gets a hit. Mortar gets a hit. Come on, Mortar. Mortar gets a second hit. Mortar, please get one more hit. One more hit. Oh my god, did we actually win this? Yo, let's go, dude. Oh my god, this matchup was so rough. <laughs> you know what, though? We'll take the win. Okay, the opponent actually starting off here with a King Tower activation. Um, I guess I'll, I'll be the aggressor here. And Oh, I guess I'll be the aggressor here. <laughs> um... All right, let's see here. Expo and the Obsidian. His bowler is out of cycle, so you know what? That'll be pretty good for us. Do I want a king activation? No, I'll, I'll just I'll just take the take the no damage there. And uh, you know what? He got a king activation, but guess what? My win conditions are they're Expo and Mortar. I mean, what better win conditions to face an activated King's Tower with? Am I right? Now let's go on with the Mortar. Of course, if Burner Dragon's just gonna tear apart this baby dragon here. And, uh, unless he's back to his... Oh, he's back to freeze. Okay, I guess. Oh, and it froze the ghost, too. That's so dumb. Oh, that's so dumb. Oh, man. It's most likely gonna be a balloon deck here. Uh, which is slightly worrisome, actually, because my only defensive building right now is Expo. I think what I'm gonna do is just fireball this. I don't really have that much else to do right now. Um, which is kind of kind of ironic. I'm actually gonna nato this Electro Dragon into my tower range here. Um, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, we are in trouble. We are in a little bit of trouble here. Uh, do I need a fireball? Do I need a fireball? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And, uh, Royal Ghost still gets damage onto the tower. Oh my goodness. I am in a bit of an awkward cycle right now. Uh, so the opponent did do a really good job in that department. Uh, I guess I'll have to go in with the expo here. Uh, and the Royal Ghost, I guess. Uh, but we're about to take a ton of damage here. We are about to take so much damage. Oh god, oh god, I need to fireball this out of the way now, um, and okay, alright, you know what, damage is tied, damage is tied, um, oh, this is, oh, this is gonna be so much closer than I thought it would be, uh, okay, let's do this, uh, we'll NATO everything in, I guess, um, let's go in with the Royal Ghost, we'll go in with a High Mortar here, and pull all this stuff in, I guess. Uh, mortar, Mortar gets a lock onto the tower, that's exactly what we need. Oh, that's a healthy Mortar lock too, oh my goodness. And the Royal Ghost connects, that's just GG well played. Tower is within fireball range, and ending off a match that should not have actually been that close. Alright, starting off the opponent actually going in with a Goblin Barrel, and he plays it in the back, which gets really easily countered there. Please don't screw this up, please don't screw this up. Hey, you didn't screw it up, let's go. Royal Ghost actually connects as well. That's kind of huge. That's kind of huge. Royal Delivery coming down here. Uh, hopefully I hit the Princess with that Fireball. Okay, good. I do. And I think the King Tower should be able to take care of the Skeletons. Yes. All right, cool. All right, so we've baited out the opponent's, uh, we've baited out the opponent's Siege Counter. His Bomb Tower is now officially out of cycle. He can go in with a Princess at the Bridge. Yeah, I figured that's what he would do. But now we are back to our Expo, which we shall promptly play. Expo coming down here, and let's see what the opponent's got. Let's see if he's got what he needs to stop this. Uh, of course, we'll go on the Royal Delivery on top of the Skeletons here. Please get the timing right. No! Oh, no! Come on, dude! Oh, if only I'd hit that timing, this would have that this match would have already been over. But, of course, let's just NATO the barrel, and uh, things will be, be alright. Let's go in here with a Bowler up high. Uh, and then we'll do this. Oh, I overextended a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I guess we'll NATO there. But we do get some good connections here. Let's go ahead and fireball out the Dark Goblin here. Um, it looks like the Expo, the Expo won't get a lock, but hopefully the uh, barrel pops. Oh, it does not. Oh, that's not good. Uh, okay, let's go in with a Mortar here on offense, I guess. Oh, this is actually really close. What the heck? Um, 
Oh God, I gotta make sure I don't overcommit and I gotta be ready for those goblin barrels. There we go. All right, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and trick them. Let's go ahead and actually NATO all this stuff in here. Uh, there we go, Expo locks onto the tower. I don't think he has a reset. Um, so this should pretty much seal the deal here. Expo takes the tower down to 290, which is actually just short. But uh, yeah, bullet down for the barrel here. Nice and easy, no damage taken there. I mean, at this point, it's pretty much just a spell cycle job. And there, oh my goodness, oh god, he doesn't have a big spell, does he? Oh no, he does not have a big spell, does he? Please don't have a big spell, dude. Oh, if he has a big spell, I'm actually so screwed. Oh, thank god. I, I thought this game was already in the bag, and I just straight up almost threw that match there. Oh, Mortar is finally in our starting hand, and you know what we like to do. Mortar first play, best play in the world. Um, we got the Inferno Dragon here, and uh, we got a King Activation here in the Lumberjack, and the Mortar gets hit as well, which is nice and dandy. Oh boy, and the opponent has a Golem. This is actually not a- this is not good, because even though I do get the Expo here, um, his push is going to be very, very difficult for me to defend. I'm almost just- well, I am gonna completely just tank this Dark Prince here. And hope that this mortar is going to be enough here uh, to take down the golem. But with the three activated towers, uh, things are looking pretty good here. Um, and look at that. I mean, he's got nothing. He's got nothing, dude. The golem is dead. We just straight up got away with one. Let's go in. Let's pressure the baby dragon. Pressure the opposite lane here. This is this has got to be difficult for the opponent to deal with. Of course, the opponent does get a king activation at the expense of some damage here, which I guess is actually quite well played by him. Yeah. Oh my God. The opponent's got an elixir collector, bro. What the heck is this? Um. This is a this is an interesting golem deck. All right, all right. Are you ready for this? Oh no, I I expo too early. No, I expo too early. Oh, this is actually bad. Oh no, if he lightnings this, uh, I'm actually in trouble here. Oh no, and he has. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Uh. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Hopefully, we'll be okay. Uh. Okay, let's fireball this. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess we'll NATO. Okay, that was not good at all. That was actually just really bad. I don't know what I was doing there. This roll ghost comes down. Right. Uh, of course we'll do this and we'll fireball all this stuff out. All right. Very cool. And uh, let's see. All right, golem dies. Very nice. He'll go with the lumberjack. <laughs> He goes in with an elixir collector. Oh no, you know you're in trouble when you gotta go in with an elixir collector on offense. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see here. Oh, good NATO by him. Good NATO. Uh, Expo gets some damage, I guess. Um, but it's really not much. Oh, that Electro Dragon is just clogging up my entire offense here. All right, we'll try and we'll try and swerve him now. We'll try and swerve him. Uh, let's go ahead and NATO out of the way. Mortar locks onto the tower, and that's just game over taking down a golem beatdown deck.